Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. welcome back, and we're starting up a Live 66 quick play gameplay, and you know, I used to do these a lot in Destiny 1, and Rumble mostly, but 6v6 has been so fun, and actually, let's pull this up, uh, Bungie just came out and said something about quick play matchmaking. They said that, today we discovered an issue with quick play matchmaking, we're actively investigating the depth of the issue, and currently believe that neither connection nor skill are being factored correctly when forming matches, so here's the deal with quick play 6v6, right? Uh, I honestly feel that it's playing better than it has ever played and that goes back into destiny one because you aren't really strangle you know there's not a stranglehold on the meta you can go in which you know we'll probably do a live gameplay later on with the nature of the beast and you know what with these live gameplays they're a little bit easier for me and i work this weekend so i might put up a couple over the, the weekend but you can go with this and have a great game right um but as skill-based matchmaking becomes more and more strict it starts to become vigilance wing graviton uh lance hand holding right lane holding and that's that's just that's not good that's what the competitive playlist is for however there does need to be some sort of filter in place for newer players like i've seen level twos level threes they should match with each other kind of get you know custom to the crucible like level 25 and below even just throw them together let them have fun with their new weapons and then go to town you know this level two has a brand new Psy umbra blue pulse rifle and he gets Roger's claim word right so there needs to be some filters in place uh but moving on tell me what you guys think about that uh we're gonna be using the dracula build essentially on the void walker now with the karnsteins i love the top skill tree but uh we're gonna be using the devour skill tree right so charge melee we get devour going we consume a grenade to regenerate the health also grants devour we're pairing that with the karnsteins right we did a review on these get a melee kill any melee kill and you get a health boost and continually recover your health for eight seconds very strong and i didn't put it in the video but a grave robber smg is the way to roll and i just got this ikalos one and i love it to death it has so much utility right so like peak shooting around corners you break their shields well it's time to ring out your primary right like so like the home of the lost is like 106 damage on that and just delete somebody but i've been using the royal dispensation i'm using the was it stardust the radiant stardust all these have grave robber but this one especially against supers and hopefully we can go against either an arc strider or a striker titan or storm caller because once you melt those shields you wouldn't think about it energy is good for against super play but we start getting it going with that and the last thing is the crimson right three round burst we all know that kills with this weapon heal the wilder so we have heals we have heals we have devour and we have grave robber for the dracula effect so in 6v6 when i do these i like to really talk about my thought process what's going on we're going to be aggressive right solo aggressive and there's a couple things that go with that right we're either going to slay and if we notice that they're not capping zones we have to play that role too so we have to go cap zones uh, well, it's just you don't know until you get in there and if we're playing control which i hope that we do we're on pacifica the deal with control is like in the beginning of the match i always go to b and either my teammates are coming with me or they're not it might be a 5v1 but the deal is it's got to be contested because maybe i get some people low health on their squad and then my team will finally rotate in and get some cleanup so it's got to be contested so we're gonna go straight to b and then go from there what is that guy using what's that yellow weapon all right and you know playing with devour you know you can make certain decisions on the fly and we'll talk about those so we do have somebody like that's great that's great that's great so we're gonna throw it on one side and we actually jumped up a little too high there's multiple people we have a lot of people behind us so best case scenario is we didn't get feedback fenced so now we know that titans run feedback best case scenario right there is if we meleeed him we would have gotten the uh, vampire's crest going so that's one of those things. We go to B, we were outnumbered. We we tried to move around it, right? All right, feedback fence guy. But we uh, ended up doing enough damage. We have Vampire's Crest. So that means we need to start going to town. I don't know if people are high or low. See if we can get away. We're doing good. We're doing good. Let's jump on in. All right, we have three people, but we have a squad. So we're actually going to go down low, right? We're actually going to go down low on this. And look at that. We got so many shots into people. We got like three tags right there. I don't know where this guy is, or if that's a grenade. It's a grenade. Let's see if we can get our... We did. All right, right on. So there's two people to our right. We're going to hug this. We're going to peek shot. That's what you, you do with hand cannons. All right, so we're getting overrun. Let's go ahead and draw back. There's actually heavy coming up, which is ideal. 
So we're gonna reset the fight, come all the way back around. And that's one of those things I don't see a lot of players doing, man, just resetting. We saw that we were outnumbered there. And there are a lot of a lot of people there, dude. The Orwings can do some work right here. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> Alright, so they're gonna be spawning C, we know this. He's probably down low. Let's see if we can get here in time. Missed that guy. That's okay. There's no real reason to push. We know where they're coming from. We have power. We can't lose it. And if you lose it with ore wings, right? If you lose it with ore wings, you give them like two or three rockets. So we're going to set up post right here. Looks like there's somebody coming. We're going to kind of defend our teammate, which we did. We got him. I'm trying to help you, homie. Good play by the Titan getting out of there. Good play. I mean, I just don't think that... Oh, I have bad shots here. Good play by him, dude. That was horrible shots. But we did what we needed to do, right? We already have a Nova. And uh, we're going to set that off immediately. And honestly, uh, right there, man, it was kind of... I didn't have my grenade, so generally when I do that, right, if I'm going going big and go, or go home, there at B. All right, he has a shotgun. All right, we're outnumbered. So let's go ahead and pop our rift, get our health back, right? We have some teammates flowing in. This is good. We have one guy. That's all, that's all I, I really want right here, right? So that way we can... I've been... Sh we have hammers. Not a good look. Let's go ahead and reset it. These guys take C, so we're just going to rotate with them, right? Hopefully by the time we get up there... It's going to be over. Actually, our, it might have been our teammate that popped hammers. Regardless, when I see something like that, I just do a, go ahead and do a long rotation. Get it going. Oh, hopefully, I got good shots on him. I think I did. We did. Feedback fence and uh, perfect paradox shotgun. Couldn't do anything about that. 76-37, and our guys are doing good on zones, man. Generally... Uh, I spawn in, I'll immediately check. We have C, so that's good. Sometimes you'll spawn in and it it won't be uh, controlled, right? So you, you got to take that. Just to notice that. Spawn in on your side, we have our zone, and then I play around B. Like, that's kind of the way I go. 105 on him. He should be able to get cleaned up. Don't worry, guys, I got it. All right, so all we're going to do is we're going to bounce shots. It's one of my favorite angles right here. One of my favorite angles. This SMG is so good. All right, so we got we to gotta shut this down. All right, we got him. We got him. Let's see if we can get our health back. Teammate, I need you. We did devour there just in case, right? So I don't know where they're coming from. We have no teammates. So that means they're going to be rushing, right? That's okay. We, we have our power. Alright, so we're getting overrun. That's cool. Shooting with the Graviton Lance. I'm just going to rotate. There's people right behind me, though. That isn't good. Alright, let's see if we can get this guy down. We're making bad shots. I need that melee, but we survived way longer than we should have, so I'm okay with that. 101.69, so this is our closest zone, right? That's one thing that we look for. It was being taken, and honestly, this is our dominant side. He shouldn't have gotten this, but we have to take this. I thought he getting ready to come up and Nova me or something, man. He, he, had, he had hate in his heart. So we did that. We're going to go straight to B. We have uh, one teammate holding it down on the flag. Let's go. Oh, perfect Paradox Shotgun. <laughs> but that, that's what we do. C's taken. We're going to go straight to B. And uh, we've been using the Crimson a lot. I think there's a... Uh... Yep, I'm just going to wait for that to run out. It's okay. We're going to try mid. Let's 
go ahead and consume our grenade. We're going to go for an aggressive play here. Nope, they're waiting for heavy. 123 to 90. We're taking alpha. So that means the play is going to be at Bravo. It's another hammer being popped, man. It's starting to become that time. Alright, so there's a guy behind us with that perfect paradox. Sometimes, if you hit him with that ore wings, right, there wasn't really a thing we can do. I mean, it'll throw his hammer off. So they got Charlie. So it's going to be no man's land out here at Bravo. We're going to take, take this bottom lane. I mean, I really can't do anything about these uh, shotgun titans, man. I, they're just catching me. Catching me every time I come in. But that's okay. I got the team shot with you, dude. Let's go. He maps me with the Retro Futurist, and he gets more shotgun. That's our heavy, y'all. We need to be all over that. Let's go ahead and, let's go ahead and consume. And then every time, dude. So I wasted my grenade, but that's okay. 142, 122, we're doing really good. Tell you what, guys, back here. Hey, you're good, you're good, you're good, come on. Just hope this guy doesn't have a Nova or something. It's a great grenade. Titans are killing me this game, y'all. But there's a lot of utility with running all of these health regions, man. You can do a lot of cool things. We're entirely too far from that. I need to melee you, dude. See, like right here, um, getting getting those two melee kills are just are just so huge back to back to back because you get the health boost and the recovery just keeps on going. One fifty to one thirty nine. Uh, it was a close game. Uh, but right there, it, it's kind of how I play, right? We always go to B. We had a 32 opponent defeated, one cap, right? Uh, and generally, the cap that I had was noticing that we had it on spawn, right? We didn't notice that we had it, we went and took it, and then we play around B, because B is most important, right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, the Karnsteins are still one of my favorite. We're going to do another live gameplay using the 180 Nature of the Beast, because I've been having a really good time with that. But we did good playing solo. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.